Hey everyone, welcome to my video today. I sense a theme this month. I have two boxes in from EV Base, and I'm gonna open them up and check them out. So let's get started. I'll start with this box first. All right, inside here we have floor mats. I am going to take out the bottom one first. And this is the driver's side floor mat here. We can tell because of the footrest area here. And we have thermoplastic, nice feel to it. Here's what it looks like underneath. It's got some little divots here so that it keeps the floor mat from moving when it's in location. Let's move this out of the way. Here's the next one and this is for the passenger side. Pretty similar design as we've seen with the driver's side. Got some grooves here like the other one. Gives you some friction when you're placing your feet on here. And similar with the back, we got some divots to keep it from moving on the carpet underneath. It has a fairly deep well around it, so this will be great for catching any water, snow, sand, dirt that gets in the vehicle. I also noticed that there's no labeling on here, so the people that don't like to have branding on their products, this is for you. Let me move this one out of the way. This is for the second row. Let me unfold this out here. All right, so as you can see, it has a deep well around it like the other front floor mats have. There are sections that go under the front seats on both sides and the center console right there. I'll give you a closer look at the material. It has a softer, more rubber-like feel to it than a lot of mats I've seen. Here's underneath. I have the front and the second row, so let's see what's in the other box. So this mat is for the subfloor of the trunk. So this will go underneath that area and I'll show how that works in a little bit. This is for the frunk area. So this is a mat for under the hood in the frunk well. All right, so I have both the trunk and the frunk. All right, move the box out of the way. All right, we have the cargo liner or trunk mat. And as you can see, the front part here is by the handle for the subfloor access. These two sides here are near the cubbies and that goes towards the rear seat of the car. Bring it a little closer. It's pretty heavy duty here. There's a view there. Here's a view underneath. It's fairly thick, quite hefty. And notice that it has a fold in here. So if you are using the subfloor divider, you can move this up and have access to it. So that's nice that it has kind of a crease right there. One thing I found in the box are these labels here that can be put on the mats, specifically the frunk, trunk, 
and the subfloor of the trunk. I didn't see any for the front or rear seat mats. They may also come with it too. They're smaller in size, but they didn't come in my box. So, but most likely you will see them in your box if you purchase these, since these are a first edition here. So here we go. We have the frunk mat. And if I move up a little bit here, we have the driver's side and we have the passenger. We have the second row. We have the cargo liner. And then finally, the subfloor way in the back. So going from the back of the car to the front of the car, it has you covered. So let's go out to the Tesla and see what it looks like installed. I'm in front of my 2018 Model 3 right here. And let me open up the frunk. Make sure you clean out the area and remove any mats that are already in there. And I am going to get the new mat. I recommend using one of these EV based vacuums. They are cordless USB charged and very compact and powerful and they last quite a long time. And if you're interested in one of these, I have the link in the video description and in the upper right corner right now, I have a video of this vacuum so you can check it out. And here we go. The frunk mat has the label pointing towards the front of the car and the straight part goes towards the windshield. So if you just insert it like this, it will go into place. And now if you have anything that goes in the front area that has water in it or ice or snow, and you don't want it leaking out over the rest of the front area, this mat will keep it all enclosed. So that seems to be a nice fit. Let's move on to the inside of the car. And we'll start at the driver's side. Let's open the door. Take a look inside here. And here we have a view of the driver's footrest area. I vacuumed it out. Make sure that the carpet is clean before you insert the new mat. Also probably not a bad idea to clean your pedals while you're at it. I recommend moving the seat back a little bit so you get better access to this area. And then what you need to do is take the new floor mat and slide it in. And it's going to go under the pedals and over the footrest area here. And we have a little tab here that will lock it in. So let's put this in place. Notice that I push this little tab and this goes underneath the plastic right here. Very nice touch. Don't think I've seen that before in a floor mat. This is very well sculpted to fit the inside of the footwell area here all the way up to where the pedals meet the front and then all the way to the back by the seat. And there's a deep well that goes around the whole thing from the center console on this side to the door threshold on this side. Let's take a closer look. And there we go. The driver's side is done. Let's move over to the front passenger. All right, I'm on the right side. Let me open up the door, move the seat back as far as it can go to give you more access to this area. Vacuum it out, make sure it's all clean. 
Then take the passenger floor mat and slide it in. And then eventually you'll see an area where this curve is. And when it hits that, it kind of locks into place. Then we also have that little tab here that goes underneath the trim panel and that'll keep the edge here from sliding around and folding. So I think that is definitely a nice touch. Give you a closer look. You can see by the door threshold, by the seat, center console, goes all the way up the footwell area and follows the contours nicely. I also suggest now moving both the front driver and passenger seats all the way forward so that you get better access to the second row for the mat back there. And now we're gonna do the rear seats. Just like for the other seats, vacuum the area, make sure nothing is there. Then insert the new floor mat all the way across and then you're going to insert it so that all of these tabs fit into the area right in front of it so for example here this goes all the way to the console then press down then this area here i need to move forward and as you can see it snugly fits up to the chair mounts right in front, goes all the way under the center console. The edges here by the door panels and in front of the seats, there's a deep well. So you have good protection against sand, mud, snow, ice, water, anything that can get in this area. Let me give you a closer look. You can see in front of the front passenger seat, center console and behind the driver's seat very nice fit now you can move both the front seats back to their normal positions and for the last area of the car we're going to open up the trunk and as you can see i have the subfloor partition in place i'm going to move this up so that we can access this area Make sure you vacuum this out. Then we're gonna take the new subfloor mat and insert it so that the rounded front goes towards this part of the car and then this label goes towards the back. So I'm just gonna slide this into place. Give you a closer look. This is what it looks like. On the bottom, there's also a deep well around it so that anything spills out of a container or things that you have in here, it will be contained inside the mat. And that is what that looks like. And that's what the lower subfloor mat looks like. So let's move the partition back into place. All right. So make sure you vacuum out the trunk area. And now I'm gonna get the new trunk liner. You're gonna insert this so that you see the grip here goes towards the bumper. Kind of push it into place. May have to lift it a little bit over the edges. All right, so you just got to go into all the corners and push it all the way in. Now it's in place. You still have access to the cubby on the left side of the car. I happen to have one of my Velcro pockets over it, but I'm gonna move that out of the way for demonstrating the next part. If you want access to the subfloor, there's the opening right here. Just need to pull on it and the whole thing goes up. So what's nice is this does have a crease that matches where the subfloor partition 
for you to open and close it. And when you're done, just push it down and back into place. So the trunk area also gets protection from anything that spills in here due to the deep well that this provides. There's a nice amount of friction on the surface and we also have these grooves. And in conclusion, I'm gonna give you a final tour of all the installed mats. First, we have the frunk. Then we have the driver's floor mat. We have the front passenger floor mat. The second row floor mat. We have the cargo liner. And then lifting this up, we have the trunk subfloor mat. So a total of six mats in this installation kit today. I think they look great. They have a good feel to them. And I think they'll give the car plenty of protection. They have a nice unified look so that all the mats from the front to the rear all look the same. Same high quality material and fitment. If you're interested in any of these mats or all of them, please see the link in the video description. Don't forget to use code RANGER for at least 20% off your purchase of this or any other EV base item. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.